Andy, where have you been? Well, Betty and I got to talking. Hey, y'all. Candy is a show about a lady on lady axe murder from 1980. It stars Jessica Biel, Melanie Linsky, Pablo Schreiber, and Tim Simons, all in a small town in Texas. Morning, Candy! Hey, morning! All right, uh, picture's up from the top. Set. And action. Oh, what a nice color that is on you, pretty girl. Filming in Atlanta has been amazing. The film community here is really vibrant and thriving, and that's so cool, and there's so many cool places to shoot. Atlanta and Georgia in general can look like a lot of different places if you have the right crew that can shoot things in a way that can shape it into another area. In our case, it's Texas instead of Georgia that we're trying to render on screen, and uh, we have the right people that are able to do it. Atlanta offers Anywhere USA relatively easily. If you take the Montgomery House, the Gore House, the courthouse that we're sitting in now, and the church, there's a lot of that in the area. Tony Holly is an incredible locations manager. He's been able to find us exactly what we want, and if it doesn't exist, he'll find us something even better. Tony and I were actually out scouting for the Gore House in a neighborhood right near where our Lucas Methodist Church is. And as I drove by, I said, Tony, please look into that church. That church has very interesting architecture that I think is in our world that we're creating for the characters of this show. Saint Betty of perpetual distress. Oh, my God, you're awful. What? I said she was sweet. The church is an important story point for us. The principle of our church was that in these small town churches, it's not not about the religion, but it's more about the community. And in this period of mid to late 70s, the church is your living room. It's so sweet that these girls are becoming friends. All we hear from Christina these days is Becky this, Becky that. <laughs> It does have all of these different rooms where you could have the Sunday school room, there's a small service room, there's a community room, there's a kitchen. It was able to bring people together for that sense of community and belonging that they long for. But it also, you know, sometimes you meet someone else at a social gathering that just happens to be at church as well. Hey, Candy. Please don't say anything or I'm never gonna get this out. Well, I'd like to have an affair. Our Montgomery house, where our Jessica Beale character lives, is out in Stone Mountain. I walked in and it was just like 1980 was set in amber. It was just beautiful, warm, friendly, just earth tones everywhere. I keep talking to the homeowners and asking them if they ever want to sell. <laughs> Let me know. From an interior and an exterior perspective, it was almost 100% still period correct. Since it was built in 1979. Architecturally, it had the look I wanted for Candy. Oh. <laughs> Immediately as she walked into the Montgomery house, you could feel that Jessica felt at home in it, and she really made it her own. I really wanted Candy to be separate from Betty's world. Melanie Linsky plays Betty Gore, who, as opposed to Candy Montgomery, lives in a house in the older neighborhood. We also wanted to convey that she was a little bit depressed at the time, so the house just was a little tired looking. And that was important to me to try to keep to what her life really was like. I was concerned from the beginning that we'd be able to find the Gore house with the physicality of the real house itself in Texas. The Gore House is a more modest, more middle class brick ranch. So there's a lot of that in the Atlanta area. The challenge was we see so much of the exterior of that entire neighborhood. So I needed an entire street that fit within the world. It is set in an idyllic neighborhood of mostly ranches. And it seems very quaint, but you never know what's happening behind the doors. We try to create a juxtaposition between innocence and the horror that's coming to get that idea of safety, just so that we can completely undercut it. We're 
We're sitting in this beautiful courthouse in Decatur for our courthouse scene, which is the finale of the show. The trial happened at the Collin County Courthouse, which was for the county. So as much as we're trying to keep this small town feel, it really helped open up the world that this was a really big deal in Texas. And Decatur helped with that because it looks a little bit busier than the towns that we've established for our small town, Wiley, Texas. There's 30 foot ceilings with marble and wood. And it's just a production designer's dream because you don't have to do that much. I'm very happy with how we shot it. In our typical fashion, we didn't have a whole lot of time to harvest a bunch of shots, and we were able to really go about it with a strong plan that worked out. He just want to move on. Well, they can't. Your presence is a constant reminder of this ugliness. I've been very impressed with the Georgia Film Commission. We've had a lot of support from them, and we're all very thankful as a team. For me, the best part of shooting personally in Atlanta is this is where I was born. Um, this is where I've began my career, this is where I started my family. There's beautiful things here in Atlanta, you know, the Arboretum and the High Museum. I'm staying right in Reynolds Town, right on the Beltline, and it's really enjoyable when I'm not working to know that I have a place that I can easily walk to, and it's been really a pleasure being here. I've been trying to take advantage of the city as much as possible, and there's great food, good sports, nice people, and great parks. My kids have had a great time here, too.